hi guys this is Jody cooking welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some oven baked fish yeah so that's my fish there I've got three and that's red brim fish okay so these are all of my seasoning so I'm gonna use fish seasoning black pepper all-purpose seasoning, Cajun seasoning, seasoned salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. And guys, I don't um use salt in my seasoning because the seasoning already have so much salt. So I try to cut out the salt, okay? So first, you just want to blend all of your seasoning together. And I'm using one teaspoon of seasoning, okay? So all of my seasoning is all blend together. So guys, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna add some vegetable oil to my fish, at least one spoonful, because I want my fish to be nice and moist, okay? So you're just gonna take it and just dab it all over on your fish, like so. So after I dab my oil on my fish, now I'm just going to take my seasoning and just sprinkle it all over on my fish, okay? Then you're just gonna take your hands and just massage that seasoning all over on your fish, okay? Just make sure everything go right inside of the fish also because you want your fish to be nice and full of flavor. And you just wanna continue with the same process. So all of my fish is all seasoning and that's what it look like. Guys, you can always marinate your fish for at least two hours or at least overnight. So these are all of my herbs that I'm gonna use. So here I have two chopped tomato and I also have one onions, one chopped onions, okay? And I also have four cloves of garlic and as you can see guys i chop up my garlic in small pieces okay and i also have some spring onions so that's the amount that i'm gonna use i chop up my spring onions also and here i also have some fresh thyme yeah that's a must okay and also, I also have some scotch bonnet pepper and some pimento seed. Guys, I'm using one teaspoonful of pimento seed and half of a scotch bonnet pepper because I don't want it to be too hot. And last but not the least, some okra, a moss. Yeah, so that's the amount that I'm going to use, okay? 
so guys first what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wrap my fish up in foil okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna add my chopped garlic first and then just continue to watch the video so you will see exactly what I'm doing okay So now I'm just going to add my fresh thyme and as you can see I put it right inside of the fish. And I'm also adding my spring onions. And now I'm just adding my scotch bonnet pepper and guys you can always do it the way you preferred okay I'm just showing you how I do it yeah so now I'm just adding my pimento seed So I'm just adding some onions and some tomato at the bottom of my fish. Guys, it is totally optional, but you're just gonna add more flavor to the fish, okay? And I'm also gonna add some onions on top. Some tomato on top also. Some fresh thyme my chopped garlic and my okra you are just gonna place the okra just all over your fish and all around it also okay So guys, what I did, I leave back some of my seasoning and I'm just going to take my seasoning and just sprinkle it all over on my herb, okay? So I'm just going to finish it off with one spoonful of butter. Just place the butter right on top of your fish, okay? Like so. So this fish is finished so now I'm just gonna wrap my fish and guys just make sure you fold your fish and just make sure it's wrapped properly so it doesn't leak okay so you just want to make sure it is all sealed up okay So I just want to wrap a next sheet of file paper around it and guys you just want to carry on with the same process okay so it is all finished wrap so now I'm just gonna move on to my next fish, okay? So stay tuned. Just carry on with the same process, okay?
so finally i'm wrapping my last fish guys i'm telling you this thing take a lot of patience but it is worth it because it's gonna be so delicious mm -mm -mm, i'm telling you So now you want to get a large tray and as you can see I wrap my tray with some foil paper and I'm also going to add some water to my tray because I don't want my fish to dry it out. So that's the reason why I had some water. So now I'm just going to place my fish right on top of my tray and guys I'm just going to cook it for at least one hour okay and 150 degree celsius so it's been just over an hour so now i'm just gonna open up my file and just see what my fish look like <laughs> guys this is the fun part mm -mm -mm. guys you can see all that steam coming out from the fish it smell amazing i'm telling you i can smell the fresh thyme the spring onion the scotch bonnet pepper it just smell absolutely delicious i'm telling you so guys as you can see it is nice and you can see the liquid from the fish also so i'm just gonna take all that liquid and just pour it all over on my fish guys i'm telling you this recipe is a must try your family your friends will definitely enjoy this dish it is so 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 good so i'm just gonna take my fork and just eat some of my fish and just let you guys know what it's like and guys i'm telling you it is really really good full of so much flavor please subscribe to my youtube channel for many more recipe like these share to your families and to your friends and all over on your social media i will really appreciate it I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye. God bless you all. <laughs>